Hello students, in this video I am going to explain you about Morgan's experiments given in NCRT. So in NCRT these diagrams are given, Morgan's experiments. Generally students get confused with these diagrams. So in this video I want to make clarity about these, I want to give some clarity about these diagrams. These are the Morgan experiments. So actually chromosomal theory of inheritance is given by the scientists. And this chromosomal theory of inheritance is proved by Morgan by conducting some experiments. So, Morgan conducted experiments on Drosophila. By taking Drosophila, he conducted experiments. So, let's start with Morgan's experiments. So, these are the Morgan's experiments. So, Morgan has taken three characters to conduct uh, experiments in Drosophila. So, those experiments and these three characters are, characters are body color, eye color and wing size. So, body color, eye color and wing size, size of the wing. And all these three genes which are responsible for the expression of these three characters are present on the same chromosome that is X chromosome. So this body color, the character called body color is having two contrasting traits. They are brown body color and yellow body color. Brown body color is dominant over yellow color, yellow body color and then coming to eye color, the character called next character called eye color. In eye color also there are two contrasting traits. They are red colored eye and white colored eye. White colored eye. Red colored eye is dominant over white colored eye. Next coming to the third character that is wing size. So here wing size is also having two contrasting traits. They are miniature wing and miniature wing and normal wing. So normal wing is dominant trait and miniature wing is normal wing is dominant over the trait called miniature wing. Now let's see the genotypes how these traits are represented by genotypes. Okay so coming to yellow body color. Yellow body, body color is represented by small y. Yellow body color is represented by small y why we are taking small y here? Small y because, yes, small y because the first letter of this color is y. So, we are taking small y and in the same way to represent the dominant trait y plus the same letter and plus as its superscript. Now, coming to i, character called i. So, white-eyed and red-eyed. White eye is recessive trait and red eye is dominant trait. Here, dominant trait or wild trait is expressed by, is shown by, represented by, plus as superscript of the small alphabet of the recessive trait. Now, coming to wing size. Miniature wing is rep represented by small m, whereas normal wing is represented by m+. plus. Plus is representing the dominant trait of that particular character. Right. Now coming to Morgan's experiment. Before starting with these experiments, I want to give you some details of this uh, Drosophila melanogaster. Drosophila melanogaster. So Drosoph as we know that Drosophila melanogaster is with the diploid chromosomal number as 8. So, Drosophila melanogaster has 8 chromosomes as its diploid chromosomal number. So, it has its diploid chromosomal number is 8. Now, among these 8 chromosomes, 6 chromosomes. 6 chromosomes is nothing but 3 pairs of chromosomes. 3 pairs of chromosomes that is nothing but 6 chromosomes are autosomes or these are somatic chromosomes also called as somatic chromosomes. Next coming to remaining two chromosomes or one pair of chromosomes. This one pair of chromosomes or two chromosomes are allosomes or sex chromosomes. 
allosomes or sex chromosomes or these are also called as idiosomes and these are also called as heterosomes idiosomes or heterosomes heterosomes right okay now Let's study about this pair, one pair of chromosomes, sex chromosomes, little bit in detail in case of female drosophila and in case of male drosophila. So this is female drosophila. Female drosophila is with both the X chromosomes, X and X chromosomes, which are homologous to each other. So these are homomorphic chromosomes, homomorphic chromosomes. X coming to male drosophila. In case of male drosophila, Male drosophila consists of one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So this is X chromosome, this is Y chromosome and these X and Y chromosomes are not homologous to each other and hence they are called as heteromorphic chromosomes, right? Okay, I want to explain one important thing over here. Uh, let's say on X chromosome, the gene, there is a gene called A gene with the, the allele A and its another allele is not present over Y chromosome. So, in case of male drosophila, as both X and Y chromosomes are not homologous to each other, the alleles, single allelic condition can be seen on both X and Y chromosomes because it's another allele of a pair of alleles. Another allele is not present over Y chromosome. Let's say, let's take another gene called small b, which is b gene, which is with the recessive allele over X chromosome, but it's uh, another allele is absent on Y chromosome. So, actually, even under single allelic condition also, so actually, homozygous dominant condition of the gene is nothing but capital A, capital A. Homozygous recessive condition of the gene is nothing but small a, small a. Uh, and heterozygous condition of the gene is nothing but capital A, small a. Right? Capital A, small a. This is heterozygous dominant condition of the gene. So, dominant trait can be expressed in both homozygous dominant condition and heterozygous dominant condition. But recessive trait can be expressed in homozygous recessive condition of the gene. This we know already. Now here I want to explain an important point that is hemizygous condition of the gene, right? Hemizygous condition is nothing but out of a pair of alleles of a gene. So these are a pair of alleles of a gene. Out of a pair, only presence of only one allele, one allele is called as hemizygous condition. As we discussed here now, on X chromosome only capital A is present. One allele is present and its another allele is, is absent on Y chromosome. So, this condition, presence of only single allelic condition of a gene is called as hemizygous condition. Right. So, even under hemizygous condition also, dominant trait can be expressed. But... Recessive trait, as we know that recessive trait can be expressed only under homozygous recessive condition. That means when both the alleles of a gene are present, both the recessive alleles of a gene are present, then only recessive trait can be expressed. Recessive trait cannot be generally expressed under single allelic condition. But here, even under single allelic condition of this B gene also, recessive trait is getting expressed. So, this condition is called as, this phenomena is called as pseudodominance. So, what we learned here? We learned about hemizygous condition and we learned about pseudodominance, right? Now, let's start with the Morgan's experiments conducted in Drosophila melanogaster to explain the linkage, to explain chromosomal theory of inheritance. So, I will be, I will be showing this uh, experiments. I will be explaining this experiments, that is diagrams given in NCRT in the next video. So, please do wait for the next video. Thank you, students. Hope you understood this concept.